Hello, this is New Vision TV. I am Lynn Komjisha. Five people were on Friday remanded to zero prisons over irregularly registering SIM cards using other people's national identity card particulars for use in criminal activities. Shakira Babide, 24, Zubra Recho Nansubuga, 28, Ruth Dakafero, 25, Vincent Mwanga Sevitosi, 30, and Ronald Kato, 35, appeared before March India Court Grade 1 Magistrate Sarah Namsobio and were remanded until May 28th. In a courtroom packed with their relatives, the suspects denied the charges. Now, according to prosecution led by Happiness Ainebiona Babilia in February 2018, he used one Huzaifa Kayondo's identity card without his knowledge to register mobile number 0759887432. On February 23rd, 2018, Mwanga and Nancy Buga registered mobile numbers 0753158. 300 and 0706 839743 using Rose Betwala's identical without authority. The state also alleges that Nakafero used a one Annette Kemijisha's identical to register mobile number 0758 508859 without her authority, while Kato is accused of using Africana to the agenda's identical without his knowledge to register mobile number 0751008680. Are you looking for a unique salon that will accommodate your worries? Mistake Beauty Unisex Salon is there for you. It does manicure and pedicure, massage, women's hair of all types, both normal and bridal packages, men's haircuts of all types, foot scrubs, facial, and for a person planning for a wedding, they have makeup stylists all in one location. They use modern equipment that will not be an effect on your skin. Mistake Beauty Unisex Salon is located in Wandegear on Bomber Road with big parking space. For more information, contact the numbers below. Moving on, the State Minister for Works, General Katumba Wamala, has announced that Entebbe Expressway, which has been under construction by China Communications Construction Company, will be officially opened on June 15th. Katumba made the remarks on Friday while commissioning the Nansana Katoke Wamala Road in Wakiso District. He said the handover ceremony will be officiated by President Yori Museveni with special dignitaries from China and other countries. He urged the people of Wakiso to come in big numbers to receive this gift. The Chinese government, through the China Export Import Bank, loaned Uganda 476 million US dollars, which is about 1.6 billion shillings, for the construction of the Entebbe Expressway. The groundbreaking was done by President Yoram 7 in 2012. Now, a total of 287 sub-counties in 83 districts will be connected to the national electricity grid once the 212 million US dollars, which is 780 billion shillings, loan is approved by Parliament, according to a list released by Finance Minister Matia Kasaija. The loan was borrowed from Exim Bank of China. The subject told the Parliamentary Committee of Economy currently scrutinizing the loan that once connected, over 170,000 customers will be linked to the national grid and electricity access in the country will increase from the current 20.4% to at least 60%. He said priority would be given to public institutions such as schools, hospitals, health centers, district headquarters, and businesses. He said the implementation would commence with a nationwide scoping exercise and preparation of detailed designs that will be conducted in consultation with the local and central governments. In sports news, it was all joyous. The Kabaka of Buganda, Ronald Mwenda Mutebi, officially opened this year's big car football tournament. This was on Saturday evening, while he presided over the opening match between Lugave clan and the Mpindi team at St. Mary's Stadium, Chitende, Wakiso district. The spectators who attended the match got excited when the Kabaka took a walk around the pitch while waving to the crowd in attendance for this year's opening ceremony of the annual tournament. The opening match between Lugave and Mpindi had the latter upstaging traditional giant Lugave 3-2.
You're still watching New Vision TV, and now for Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Chitagata Hot Springs. In the western region of Uganda lies the natural Chitagata Hot Springs in Shema District, and have provided a number of activities to not only the locals there, but also the tourists that visit the place. Such activities include boiling eggs, bathing, and the springs are believed to have healing powers. Chitagata Hot Springs is located approximately two kilometers by southeast of the town of Chitagata, an urban center in the Shema district. The spring is divided into two, and one part is believed to have been used by the former king of Ankole, giving it its name Echomgabe, meaning belonging to the king. And the other spring is believed to have healing powers and known as Mulago, named after Uganda's largest national referral hospital. The activities that take place here are bathing from the warm water, boiling of eggs by the locals and also getting drinking water since there is no need for boiling. This water is said to warm up to 80 degrees Celsius. These springs have become a must visit to Ugandans visiting the district for the first time and also tourists from outside countries. For more Pile of Africa stories, visit our website www.newvision.co.eug. Our newspaper, The Sun Division, is also another home of adventures, so get your copy every Sunday for Pile of Africa stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch movie updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komjisha.